Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Wasteland 3 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right. Uh, so we left off ready to talk to Sheriff Daisy. Uh, one thing I did just notice, though, is this rug is not safe. Somebody needs to straighten it out. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've tripped over a rug like that where it's just got a little bit of an arch in it. Like every corner is flipped up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How many people have tripped over this and nobody has taken the time to come over here and straighten it out and fix it? And why do we not have a rug over here where it's all slippery? I assume because the rug gets all wet and moldy and nasty. Mold and everybody can't bring it grow in there. that frozen shit. <laughs> Mold grows everywhere, Jinx. Everywhere. Uh, so, let's go ahead and talk to the Sheriff Daisy. Sorry there hasn't been a video for a few days, guys. It's been about three days since the last episode. It's been... Oh wow, he seems uncalled for. Uh, but yeah, it's just been it's been really busy around here, guys, with uh, work and and then all the content as well. With me having the Hoi Four and CK Three series going, it's been a little bit hectic overall. Uh, and this is the series is getting the less the least views, so it does end up being the one we don't don't record when things get really busy. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, but let's go and talk to Sheriff Daisy. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo. Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way Brago isn't balls deep in this mess, no matter what he says. And what about the part where you killed that fat-ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brago off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you so you shot him dead. No. It was Brago or him, and you took the wrong side. I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. Easy now, Daisy. The Patriarchs invested a lot in these folks. You don't want to... Shut your hole, Quan. Don't make me ask you where you were when they shot Lipinski. Might have been an idiot, but he was still a marshal. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brigo, and it won't include you. You know where to find the door. All right, so we pissed the the uh, marshals off a bit. Yeah, She's like, a little upset. You know, I kind of thought it would go a little bit better than that, actually. Yeah, me too. I was going to say <laughs> as I expected, but I didn't expect it to go down that way. I thought it would be a little bit better, you know, because we also have that chemistry together, me and her. Yeah, well, you broke her heart. <laughs> yeah. You know, and because he was a crooked... Fat cop. I mean, she called him Fat Bastard multiple times. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would go a little bit better than that. Yeah. She was quite upset. Quite upset. I'm sure she would have preferred that we just killed everybody, so. Probably won't get any more missions from her. But that's fine. I want to work for her anyway. I feel like every time we talk to her, it's sexual harassment charge. I feel like every time we talk to anyone, it's a sexual harassment charge. <laughs> Everybody's harassing us. Quan, I think. I mean, we're, we're a sexy group of people here. I suppose we should expect such things. So we we had to talk to her to, to you know complete that quest. Uh, but I think that's all we were attempting to do, and I think we can finally go back home now. There isn't. Oh, did we just level up? We did oh, just did level up, or at least two characters did. One of yours did. I think that's oh, you, me. isn't it? And I leveled up as well. Okay, well yeah, let's put some put some points into to our characters. Uh, so, as far as uh, Praetorian, let's see what we want to get here. I do feel like having some more awareness would be useful. Same thing with a bit of co more coordination. Uh, honestly, a lot of these would be pretty damn useful. Uh, I think we might go with the charisma, though, guys. Or, well, I mean, because that gives that, that experience bonus. And, so, and it also gives the leadership range. So the leadership range helps because he's our, our leader. And then the experience bonus, of course, helps to, to kind of make up uh, or offset that penalty he's getting. So, yeah, I guess that's what we'll go for, guys. I'm going to go with awareness. Awareness? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, so let's confirm our changes here. And now with our skills, we have four skill points uh, to put into. Dang it, I only got three. Uh, so let's see what we want him to... 
put into. I think we were. Oh, I'm doing lock picking for sure. Yeah, you definitely need to do lock picking. I think we were waiting to do hard ass, weren't we? Yeah, let's do hard ass so we can make sure we can get those done. Uh, and then we have two points left, so we could do the explosives as well. I suppose that works. Armor modding and weapon modding is being fulfilled by other characters right now, so I'm not going to put points into that. Yeah, let's get the explosives, guys. And we've had ran into a couple explosives we weren't able to uh, to defuse because we just didn't have high enough ability. All right, so let's see what we want to get. We have the spray and prey. I don't know if I looked at this before. Tears up an enemy with twice as many. Okay, so this is an SMG attack, so we won't be able to use that one. So I probably did look at it. We unlocked Minesweeper, though. You no longer set off landmines when stepping on them. That and would be so useful. useful. Not since, for everyone else. But. Yeah, but, it, you know, it's typically Bray Dorian seems to set him off because he's leading True. the group and <laughs> I'm not paying attention. And so, yeah, we typically do kind of set him off. So that would be useful to get. However, I also kind of want to get the health. That's a lot of health. That's like a big boost. Could help really keep him alive overall. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> he didn't just lie down in battle. Yeah, so that's always really helpful, too. I guess we'll do the Minesweeper, just because I do step on him so often. And you want a 2-2. Yeah, and I want the 2-2, of course. I'm going to be really upset when I find out that that didn't come with the perk. Because <laughs> I didn't get no 2-2, Jinx. All right, uh, did you, uh, what perk did you get? Oh, I didn't have a perk to pick. Oh, are we different levels? Probably. Am I behind you my bit now? I'm, I'm level seven. 6. Yeah. I'm fall behind Jinx because, of course, I have that experience penalty. And I'm really smart. And you're really smart, Jinx. <laughs> All right, so what's... Oh, wait, no, no. I wanted to see if there was a way on the map, and I got distracted with the level up. Oh, to our headquarters? Yeah. yeah I think so. I think there is, but we. it also said that we could stop at that one place, that mission. Though I'm not entirely sure how we'd get there. But yeah, I think there is a, a headquarters. Yeah, Ranger HQ is right there. We'd have to run to the other side of the map. I suppose we could do that. But yeah, I kind of want to go ahead and, and do that one mission uh, here in the mission log. I think it's Unwelcome Guest. Yeah, maybe that one. We have that one, and then there's, yeah, I think it's this Is one. Is that the place that's outside of town? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I see. So yeah, we could mark it. We get a monocle. What? Yeah, that's why I feel like we had to do it. I we get the Ranger H2 garage mechanics, and then... It's, it's a monocle. I mean, we need a monocle, I'm Jinx. blind. I have no glasses. I am worthless to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we will uh, we'll do that. We'll do that I one. think about that all the time. Just like how what would happen? much you need eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And what would happen in an apocalypse scenario where Jinx doesn't have her glasses? Yeah. Because Jinx is blind blind. I am like, real blind. blind. Blind blind. Badly. Mm -hmm. She can't Maybe see I'll nothing. Be... Oh, and I can't even hear like a bat. So, because mm -hmm. my ears are shit too. So. And yeah, Jake's got hearing problems too. And she's never been good at the sniffer. Sniffering no. is it either. I got nothing. Mm -hmm. I got no senses. Yeah, I got a big nose. And it's very good at sniffing. I actually have a very acute sense of smell. I just assume it's because of my nose size. But uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's just genetics. <laughs> Hearing's fucked because I used to be artillery. And my vision's kind of going too. It's not as bad as Jinx though. Nowhere near as bad as Jinx. So I, I have to see. So I got them crooked eyes. I have to see with my <laughs> nose, guys. Come in, Team November. Ranger HQ here. A squad of Bamps rolled up to Ranger HQ. Rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf. Claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat, take no prisoner type. Over. That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll be here. Over and out. You didn't know what a BAMF was? I know what a BAMF is. That's why I didn't ask it. Oh. Badass motherfucker. Oh, I was thinking bitch-ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you don't know what a BAMF is. <laughs> Ah, oh, badass motherfucker. I knew what it was. That's why I didn't bother asking what it was. Alright, so... I don't... Okay, there it is. We have it marked. 
I don't know how far away it is, though. It could be so quite far. far. Is there any way to look at the map on here? And see... Oh, yeah, there's little woods. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it's not too far. Now, people said we can actually go back. We can go to this this Hoon homestead, despite the fact that the mission there was failed because we went the other way. And see that everyone died. You see that everybody died, and there's actually some stuff to get there, too, apparently. Ooh, so uh, it looks like it's the opposite way of, the, of where we need to go, though, so we won't go there now. So, yeah, we'll go this way. Can we run over the deer? Yep. Oh, no. You can. You're a monster. I didn't know you could run them over. I thought it was a good experiment. You needed to see, Jinx. I'll oh, avoid God. deer from here on out. You're terrible. <laughs> you just splattered them all over the road, too. Yeah, you did. Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad, guys. There's all right. some more yep. deer Whoa. for you to spread. Yeah, but that's like a... They sh Why is that's he a eating meat? It's a meat-eating deer, Jinx. Oh, that, okay. We should take him out. <laughs> <laughs> that's dangerous. You have deer like that. He's ever eaten a pile of flesh. And what, what was that he, he was eating? His friend? No, that looked too big for, for a friend that was like bear size. Prophet, brothers and sisters, make your kites strong so the offerings they bear will. Hello, all. My name is Flav, and it is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill. Your wall is him. And our good one people. DJ R.I.P. is back. Are y'all listening? This one is for the newly in love. Hope your heart's not gonna bleed too much. Okay, I don't know what was going on with the yeah, radio. Me either. It's like it looked like we had like three different conversations all attempting to happen at the same same damn time. Also ignore my stomach growls, guys. I'm like <laughs> really hungry. It's a little bit late. I uh, just recorded a couple videos too, so. I'm a little bit hungry, but I don't want to eat anything because we're about to go to the gym right after yeah. recording this, and so I don't want to eat anything because my stomach doesn't do well with uh, food in it when I'm working out. Uh, so she monster, a woman in a scarred hockey mask, steps from an old van with the painting of a werewolf riding a Pegasus on the side. Hey lambs, want to trade? My name's She Monster. Uh, we usually just drink and watch old VHS monster movies and shoot the shit. <laughs> it's the best. Alright, we'll go ahead and do some trading. I don't know, we'll pick, pick the uh, kiss ass option very, very often. It's just not, <laughs> it's not the way I roll, man. Just seeing if there's anything that we can uh, sell here before we look at if we want to buy anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like... Well, we have some junk. Oh, nope. Maybe we don't have any junk. I think we've already been to the store recently, actually. Yeah, I think we just sold uh -huh. everything. Yeah, so I think we sold everything we wanted to sell uh, for right now. So do we need any like, healing healing items? Or are we good to go? I think we're good. Could always use more injury kits, I guess, but seven isn't bad. Yeah, or antidote. We only have one. Oh, yeah, let's do an antidote. Where's that at? Oh, right here. Uh, yeah, let's do a couple of these guys. I think this would be pretty useful to have. Let's get a couple more of those. And there's also drugs, of course. There's healing always darts. drugs. Do you not have the... I thought you already had healing I darts. I have one. Uh, the med darts? I haven't used it, though. I don't know how far I can throw. Yeah, it's probably dependent on your strength, at least a little bit. I'm yeah, we'll get some, some med darts. <laughs> All right, so... It looks good. I also have some grenades here we could use. How much is a, a hand grenade? Well, it's not too expensive. We'll buy one of those too. Why not? It's not like we don't have $3,000. All right. Oh, she took off. She just left us. Oh, she's still there on my screen. She left us. Yeah, she's not there for me. Maybe uh, maybe it's she's there until you talk to her. Oh, and maybe. because you didn't talk to her, she's still there. All right, so looks like we're almost to the bazaar. That was kind of quite a trip, a man. There okay. we go. I don't I'm remember. We're about to get into some trouble. Probably. I don't really remember what the event here was. Maybe we should look at that so we know what we're getting ourselves into. It's been a little while since we had this. I've gotten this mission here. Uh, it's the unwelcome gas. 
This is the one that, that Gideon guy gave us, the, the 100 families. Uh, so he wants us to travel here and confront the human smugglers. He's afraid Colorado Springs can't support any more refugees. He's asked us to travel to the bazaar, a trader's market to the east, and find a way to stop the human traffickers there who are smuggling the refugees into the city. And this is how we get that damn monocle, guys. <laughs> because we'll be fancy pants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with our fancy little monocle. Uh, people who tell the mashers of the bazaar that it's actually spelled bazaar only ever do that once. Okay. How do so they, they spell, spell it? it? Looks like they spelled it with an E on the back. Oh. And is that like how you spell bazaar, like weird bazaar? I don't actually know. I didn't even know they were spelled differently, honestly. Yeah, this is a quite a bit different spelling there. B-I-Z-A-R-R-E or B-A-Z-A-R. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's what I would assume. Is that's how it's how it's spelt. So what's up with the vampire teeth on here? I don't know. They're into some freaky shit here. Or, is is this run by the monsters where... too? Oh, maybe. By the, the monster group? Yeah, maybe. I like to watch monster movies. I like monster. No, I don't really like yeah, monster I was movies. Yeah, I don't like monster <laughs> movies, Jinx. Madam, please. I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know something is fishy here, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, over here, friends. Welcome. Before you stands a man dressed in an impeccably clean, well-maintained suit. He bows with a flourish as you approach, and without pause starts rattling off a practice spiel. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I have not seen you here before. Know this, the bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranoth, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavor to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? All right, so... I really like his suit. I think his suit's nice. It's very nice. So we could bring him back as a tailor. I don't know if he'd be willing to do that. There might be other options as well. But yeah, we could talk to him about that since uh, apparently we're looking for a tailor. Yeah, and he's not wanted there anyway. <laughs> yeah, they don't treat him right here. I don't know if we'll find anybody else that, uh, again, that would be a better option. But we could ask him. He might have a quest or something he wants us to do. Uh, yeah, we'll ask him that. You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but this is a dangerous time for the bazaar. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. But let's not barter out here in the cold. Join me in the warmth and security of our encampment. This way, friends. All right, so we'll follow him, I guess. But 
We learned that this is uh, the monster army that's running this particular place. And that also makes sense with the bizarre name, I suppose. Since, you know, they're bizarre. It's supposed to be weird shit. I had no mm -hmm. idea yeah. there were people living like this in Colorado. So she's starting to feel her privilege. She's feeling like guilt. Heaters. Rich people guilt. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, exam so examine the sleeping bag. So they provide a space efficient way. Okay, we know what sleeping bags are. We got some people that are hopeful to get inside. Found some chemicals we can talk to. I'm sure, Jinx is Raven will be able to do some successful conversation some with the chemicals. Stuff. The table for you is covered in various uh, carefully marked uh, containers and tools for the mixing of chemicals. Let's mix them at random. <laughs> that sounds stupid. What could go wrong? Do you have any additional options here? No. All right, let's I can just... just mix it random. Yeah, let's not do that. That sounds a terrible idea. But I wanna. I bet we'd have an interaction there that we're gonna be able to do. Why would they have chemicals here that don't mix well together? I'm telling you, Jinx. There's gonna be something we can make there. We just need to know oh, what it is. Oh, he's got like a Chewbacca mask. Does he? Where? Who? This guy by the door, the bouncer. Yeah, Chewbacca mask. Chewbacca. Um. Or Maybe. a werewolf. It looks like a werewolf. Could yeah. be either. Yeah, it kind of looks more like a werewolf to me. But... Alright, so let's talk to this guy and we'll see if we can do some selling. Find some stuff, I guess. See what he's got to offer. Alright, so that's what we'll, we'll do first here. And I don't think we should just run around talking about this smuggling thing. I don't think that's an effective way to get information. He's just going to tell everybody yeah, let's get what we're here for. Yeah, let's get in before we yeah. start questioning yeah, people. Yeah, that'd be stupid. Uh, so we have, we can also have more, ask more questions. We'll take a look at that after uh, we do some some selling. But of course. Or buying or whatever we end up doing. He's got a monocle too, Jinx. Well, he sure does. Mm -hmm. We don't even need to do this class. It increases your barter by one and your perception by two. Eh, that's not too shabby, I guess. And it helps you fucking see. <laughs> yep, true. It does do that as well, Jinx. Uh, and we've got... Oh, that's just a cigar. Oh, mustache wax. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of drugs. So, so this is all he has. The grooming brush. Grooming it does increase shit. your animal whisperer, though. What? A plus one. Oh, because I Cause can you, groom the mm -hmm. critters. You groom I the critters. Need it. Are you going to actually equip a Jinx? Let me see what I'm actually using. <laughs> I don't know what you're using. you got a necklace no, on or something? No, I have a stethoscope. Oh, uh, was that increasing your... Yeah, my first aid. Okay. All right. Kind of sucks you only have the one utility slot. I know. I got all these pockets, and I can't put anything in them. Yeah. All right. So, he doesn't have anything else for Just us to... Just healing shit. ...to buy, guys. So, let's talk uh, to him again. Felicitations. And we'll ask some more questions. And I will endeavor to supply more answers. And we'll see if there's anything else that's interested... That we'd be interested in talking about. I guess we'll ask them who the Monster Army is. I'm kind of curious what's going on with them. They are the organization in charge of the bazaar. I've heard tales that once they were truly a monstrous gang, spreading fear all throughout Colorado. I'm happy to tell you that their current incarnation is much more sophisticated and civilized, though they have a ways to go. They are led by Mr. Jacob Martin, colloquially known as Flab the Inhaler, a man who has truly embraced his position and leads this place with panache. I do wish he had a better tailor, though. You can find him inside the bazaar proper, as he rarely ventures outside. I can only hope I will have the answers you seek. It is simple. To get inside, you need an entrance pass. You can purchase one at the door, or find an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Would that I could, but we are limited in how often we can vouch for outsiders. Any bazaar merchant. Of course, they are usually found inside the bazaar, not out here. In the encampment behind me, you could find some hopefuls looking to get in. Perhaps if you can aid them, they can aid you.
In theory, yes. But those of us who have a past tend to safeguard it with our lives, so it is highly unlikely you would get to use another person's pass. I have heard of people giving their entrance passes to family members. Perhaps you have a rich uncle. Occasionally, people disappear in the nearby ruins, and strangers acquire their pass. I'm sure I don't need to say this behavior is most untrustworthy and impolite. Have an exquisite day. All right, guys, so we need to get a pass to get in there. And he said talk to the hopefuls, but... I mean, if they're trying to get in too, then yeah. <laughs> maybe they have a, a plan for getting in, I suppose. This pass must be really expensive. Yeah, let's let's go see just how much money it is. Like, I'd hate to like have to do a bunch of quests and then it's like a hundred bucks. Or just be in cheap passes. Yeah. Uh, so before we go talking to every person in town here, although I kind of want to talk to these people. Six-fingered Larry. Because I got a bird named Polly. Is this Six-fingered Larry? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, and this is Larry's Hunter. Doesn't and he's also Larry's and Larry's Hunter. Hunter. Yep, he doesn't even have any names. Okay, they're just not important enough for names. Oh, there's a toolbox here we can loot. Okay. We'll take all that then. Anything good? Mm, there's there's some stuff. <laughs> what is this? Quotes of manners. I don't care. I almost want to stop picking them up. Because mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> I get all about him. So you know what? We're just not gonna, not gonna pick it up, guys. Although it looks like that's gonna be a pickle. Yeah, that's difficult to do because it moves right, it every time. Just listen to our audio recording. All right. Let's see. Nope, nothing here. Yeah, I just don't. I don't care about the manners. No, it didn't play. No, I didn't pick it up. Oh, I see. That's what I what I did. I made sure I picked up everything but that. Uh, so these How are, are you gonna learn manners? These are probably the ruins. I don't need no manners, James. <laughs> I don't need no manners. So these are the, the ruins here, I assume. Yeah, there's like a robot over there we could fight. So we could do some fighting there. Maybe it's stomping around on me. How where's the entrance? That's what I'm looking for. Is this it right here? Welcome to the bazaar, oh. little lambs. Behave yourself. What happened? I walked. Yeah, that isn't the first time that's happened. Uh, when we walked in the Colorado Springs downtown area, it did that same thing. Alright. So we have to find whoever's selling these. Uh, so I think this is the entrance right here. Yeah. This little uh, mobile home. I like their glow lights. So we just need to find out who's, who's in, in charge. charge. I would oh, think that I'm guy stuck. would be because he has a table. Maybe. In an envelope. This guy's the tender. There's a radio <laughs> we can call. Yeah, maybe you talk on the radio. Alright, as you approach the trailer, the speaker's bolted onto a crack... Oh, the, the speaker's bolted onto it, crackled to life. I can read, guys. A lamb stands at the door. <laughs> what sacrifice do they bring to the door of monsters? <laughs> the lamb speak. <sighs> you know what? You asked me a straight question. Let's forget about the lamb nonsense. The bazaar lies beneath your feet, covered by decades of snow. The only way in is through the gate beneath this RV. The only people who can open this gate, we, the monster army. If you want to get in here, you need to do one of two things. Buy an entrance pass, or get an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Sometimes we let Colorado's most famous in, but it's been years since such an exception was made. Huh, <laughs> that's nice. Doesn't mean shit to me, but I'm happy for you. More than it should, honestly. But that's what happens when one party has a monopoly on supply. Sorry. Anyway... from the inside, so you're stuck out there until you get your pass. Alright, so $500. That's not that bad. And you only have to buy it once. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Uh, but I'm, I'm assuming that there's probably some ways to get it that might not be that difficult. 
Like killing There's a the... bunch of people. <laughs> I could kill a bunch of people, I suppose, Jinx. Are we there any merchants that are out here? No. There's something loot right here, though. Maybe we'll find the pass in here. I guess we'll listen to this one. Uh, this date dates back to the war between the Patriarch and the Monster Army many decades ago. So that seems like one that might actually be a little bit useful. So we'll listen to that one. Listen up, Mashers. The next son of a bitch who says we're losing this war gets strung up by his nuts. You hear me? It doesn't matter how much territory we've lost. There's only one way inside the mall. As long as we control it, Buchanan can't touch us. He can sit out there with his army and pound snow for all I care. All we gotta do is hold out. The lamb and the wolf got different needs. Sooner or later, Buchanan will have to negotiate. And then we'll have him right where we fucking want him. All right, I figured we'd talk to, to this guy first, Six-Fingered Larry. Seems like he might be somebody who might be able to help us out. Howdy, strangers. Name's Six-Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. Who knows? I've only got five fingers on each hand. Same as anyone else. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. I'm not the sort who'd kiss and tell, though. Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question... Nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. I'm no local, but ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's just old and fat, wheezing through its last days. Easy pickings. Me? Nah, I don't got the bona fides. All right, so unfortunately, Six Fingered Larry was not able to get us in. How he also didn't have any information. You really want that parrot? Yes. I didn't think he would sell it. I gotta Probably ask him. Probably not. Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Parrot's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself because I got no say in what he's going to do. All right, so you got to talk to him yourself, Jason. Talk, to talk to Polly. Hey, Polly. And, and don't get our heads <laughs> drilled in. I guess I'll join this conversation so everybody can see it. <laughs> oh, so we have to ask him to talk to Polly first? I guess so. All right. All right. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? Larry, my buddy, my pal. <laughs> Come closer. I'll show you how it sounds to me. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. Sounds like some fucking bullshit. <laughs> Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. How am I doing? How am I fucking doing? <laughs> Great question, dipshit. I'm doing great. How are you doing? You look like a moose. Fuck your face inside out. Listen, shit for brains. Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable. That's my job. I love that job. You hear that, Larry? Fuck you. So do we still want this guy? <laughs> Seems like a jerk. Nah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you be happier traveling around Colorado and making everyone miserable? You wouldn't want people I mean, to think you're Larry's would. property, would you? Join us and you'll be an equal partner. I think you would be more keen to run around making everyone's life miserable. Yeah, we might be stuck in the... <laughs> the world is better <laughs> off without you, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> we could attack and we'll have to fight this whole crew, though. Yeah. Uh, let's say, wouldn't you be happy traveling around Colorado, Colorado and making everyone miserable? I... Well, shit, 
You're right, you circus reject. <laughs> I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid <whistles> to a disease vulva. <laughs> but when you're right, you are right. <whistles> hey, Larry, I'm leaving. All right, he's yours if you pay the price. Well, this sounds about fair, don't you think? Two hundred dollars. That is a lot. If we had barter just slightly higher, we could bring it down some. Yeah, nah. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Yeah, we can always come back. I think he'd probably be a really good fighter, though. You would think so. And I like that you might be able to get him without having animal whisper at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's another oh, nice Oh, yeah, so aspect. you can have a pet. So, you know what? Let's do a 200 bucks for a foul mouth parrot. <laughs> sure. Why not? It seems like a great deal. Yeah, something not right with you but you have my respect enjoy the parrot and let me know if you need anything else yes finally free at last <laughs> larry larry yes shit flake at last i can tell you with complete sincerity <laughs> fuck you all right so it looks like i got a parrot guys oh you do <laughs> i got a pet parrot yeah, well, you fly around and help us out in battles, I suppose. Yeah, hurt Until he people's dies. feelings. Mm -hmm, yeah, hurt people's feelings for us. I have a feeling Larry's going to live a very long life. Probably. He'll never <laughs> die. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode. We're going to continue trying to find a way into the bazaar. We'll likely have to talk to these hopefuls and see if... Any of them have uh, any quests we could do to get in there. If not, or if we just don't want to do it because we don't like the person, then we'll have to go to those ruins and see if we can't find a dead person that's got to pass. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys on that episode, and thanks for watching.